Hi, Capricorn. This is your Scorpio season reading, November 2024. Uh, I called Aquarius the countdown, and I'm like, yours kind of is too. But it's a timeline shift, a change. Uh, <coughs> yours, everyone's going through this phase where we're like cleaning up the deep down in the trenches of the emotions that have been secret whether them to you or the people around you things that you've dealt with before but need some more air need some more space to breathe and i think more than anyone else you're feeling this particularly very clearly Although it may sound simple, it's exactly what you need to continue moving forward. So essentially the Page of Cups is learning to be unattached to whatever you're giving, whatever you're offering, including yourself, including your words. I'm gonna try this real quick. Okay, Including whatever it is that's stopping you from moving forward, whatever point you're at. If you're finishing an art project, that sounds, and I stopped because it's like, it sounds like a child, I'm talking to a child. No, if you finished like some kind of art and you're putting it out there, this is that too. It's putting it out there knowing that it's no longer in your hands. It's no longer for you to judge. It's no longer for you to change. The offering is offering. If you're asking someone out, you ask them out, the offering's out there. There's nothing else you can do except for wait for the answer or wait for the next move, right? So your next move before it becomes an investment, before this timeline starts to exist, <laughs> this road that starts to exist, it's about you being confident in whatever it is that you're saying or offering. It's you being unattached to whomever comes with you. It's whoever decides to. Because they can decide to now, but it doesn't mean they have to stay. And that's something that you're reminded of constantly right now. But it's not because it's to pay attention to. It's not It's not to overwhelm you. It's to, in your words, put pressure on in order to dissolve. If you're going to get better at something, you're going you're gonna to go for it. You're going to try it out, right? You're going to put what you have into it. And that's that pressure. So... Whatever you're doing, do it with confidence and if you're and override any doubt. Doesn't mean don't feel whatever is coming up in between the doubt and that, but just know that whatever that feeling is, that whatever whomever you're picturing picturing, whatever it is it's blocking, whatever it is that's the resistance, <clears throat> the quicker that you accept and move forward, the quicker that you realize there's nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about, the quicker you let yourself experience that and move forward every time. You're like, oh, that's, that's a part of the human game. That's a part of what I have to do in order to continue this beautiful, gorgeous, amazing evolution of my life. Oh, uh, but why do it's because you've been taught to stop them you've been taught to like i don't know what to do with these i put it into work i put it into this i put it <coughs> into that excuse me why isn't everything no things are always going to change it's how you perceive them it's how you decide to handle them capricorn and the reason why i'm hyping you up is because like i just have to remind everyone right now if you take a look back at your life, is this the hardest thing you've ever had to do? And if the answer is no, feeling your emotions is not the hardest thing. And for some of you, it is. It brings up a lot. But if this is now not the hardest thing you're ever going to have to do, what would it be like to master that? For Capricorn Rising, it's moving into your second house. This is going to be all about resources and money. This is... Closing and opening up a chapter of how you want to, how you want to be treated, how it feels to give from a place of purpose, how it 
how it feels to not have to rely on any other source but your own for energy like efficient energy your own self-esteem your own shift your own change this is like this is the six to the six the confidence is the mer emergence you know the people who are you don't really need this but in times like this this is when you need this you know the people who are like delusional enough to believe in themselves this is where you're at because if you've already reached a tier but there's something else on your mind and you want to make a shift you have to believe it you have to know it you have to understand that like it's possible it's possible to create something new it's possible to put the energy into something that is going to give you back something that you in one way are looking to experience and have been and maybe your soul has been waiting to experience or ready to not waiting ready to experience now you're at a place where you're now yes ready to experience this shift this is also coming from from some of you this is about the way that you approach the feminine the women in your life the feminine within you we all have feminine and masculine within us. It all is just portrayed in different ways. And there is, and it, it's counterintuitive to someone like you, but you can't work on everything. Sometimes some things just need space. You know, when you need space from someone or space from a certain food, a conversation, a certain energy. You may not think about it, but you do that. You take the space that you need when you're not when you're not whatever it is. In the space, in the mood, in the zone. This is about letting go a little bit more, a surrender a little bit more. What does that mean? Well, I've been thinking about how to really truly explain this because it's talk about it's talked about so much and that's kind of the place you're in in any Capricorn here and then your Capricorn placements. They're in a place of surrendering to what they've learned. How do you know that you're ready to do this? Well, I am, I came from, to be very honest, I came from a place of very low self-worth. And even though I had, including a Capricorn supporter the whole time, I didn't believe I didn't believe I had enough information, even though I could blow someone away just by talking to them. Because when we get really specific and personal, that's where I shine. Stellium in, in the seventh house. So in that specific way, unless we're talking about something specific, I can really get in, in depth about something. So reason why I'm saying that to you is you're always going to be learning something and it's okay if you decide to take a step knowing that I know what I know, but I'm consistently still learning. Like I can't, this is certain, in certain subjects, it's a lifelong process. You know, someone might say that about a subject that I don't think I could ever do lifelong, right? Some people just stop learning, it's just not me. Is it you? No. Maybe, but either way, there's still a transformation occurring or something you're going to be deeply resisting and having to face harder consequences for. But that's life. That's for everyone. We have to be able to awaken. And sometimes it's hurtful, but in the long run, you, you never look back and think about a painful or tell me if you have. If you've had a painful and, it, and they don't always have to be painful, but sometimes it's painful even for the good. Like you don't know how to give it to yourself, the self-sabotage where in your life that you haven't been grateful for that experience that you had like are you not happy or grateful for who you are but it takes you to let go meaning to step forward into the next version of yourself into the next role into the evolution in order to continue learn but to be able to give what you've mastered utilize what you've mastered in this particular area to share this the the quote of the month put your money where where your mouth is if that isn't scorpio capricorn aquarius i don't know what the fuck is 
just saying. Okay. For some of you, if this is about learning the way a dynamic went as you were growing up with a feminine figure or someone in your life where whatever you're seeing now relates to the dynamic that you have, the situation that you're in, right? That's a part of the timeline shift is how you shift in your dynamics with others. And it's not just about, well, what's a dynamic? It doesn't, it's not just about the conversation and the communication, it's how you choose to do it. It's how aware you are. It's not just coming from a subconscious place, especially if you were wanting to improve or have a different flow, a different relationship, a different connection. The way you reconnect with someone in a situation is up to you. Wherever things have slowed down, there is maybe <coughs> a needing to view You know where for a while this situation hasn't been the best for you especially for your mind the way that you're balancing your life it's possible for some of you that a relationship or a particular situation with work or a friendship um, an intimate relationship in your life has taken the form of a distraction perhaps and Libra season likes to give us distractions and then if you don't get real with yourself Scorpio season will make those distractions feel like they're real and if they if that does happen and you do enter that phase well then it may be real for you and you may have to address what it is that has where you've not been able to say no, where you've been holding back with yourself, where you've needed, where you need to make a boundary, where you need to speak up for yourself. If you continue down the road, you may have, you know, it will be interesting to communicate this month, um, but don't say anything you don't mean. This is a month of being vulnerable not about being on guard and if you feel and if you are and it's one or the other well then that says a lot and it speaks volumes but what you're realizing is that if you any also you're realizing that you enter any of these situations um with expectations or like wanting the upper hand any ego any power dynamics you haven't learned right so Pluto has been in your sign teaching you how do you, you know, use, utilize that power for empowerment, for the betterment of your life, not for fear. If you want to expand your life and transform it. Um, and now for some of you, it could be that way, but I'm talking about the ways in which we transform for the light. And you can't do that without dark. I totally understand that. Just take it for what I'm saying in this context right now. You also have someone in your life who's helping you reveal to yourself where you may not feel completely worthy or secure. That could be um, Mars and Cancer bringing it out of a Libra or someone who's very um, easy to deal with. And maybe your fear has come from something that doesn't actually exist in the present space you're in, but has been lingering from another space. And things are clearing up. Ooh. A shift in your luck is shifting your mind from needing to be in constant protection. Look at that. If I am not in this way, then I won't, you know, continue to let things flow. What is happening is that you are... Things are moving slower. Things are needing efficiency. Not so much, details and efficiency go together and can be hand in hand, but I just mean efficient. Meaning you're, you're double checking, 
for your own good, for your own safety. And then at the same time, where has that stopped the flow? Where has not and where has lack of embracing your intuition or your spontaneity actually hindered you or caused you to maybe take on more than you wanted to or originally had planned to um mental blocks are being anywhere that you're re being relieved with especially luck and feeling lucky it's hitting you in a way where you're able to receive the information that's been blocking you from those experiences when you have those experiences a part of um, a surprise or an interest or a curiosity of like why it hits you in um, so emotionally in this way to have this lucky experience what is it about this um, and you may realize you're just not used to it or you're not allowing yourself to be used to it and normalizing ease normalizing ease I think that is the fucking name of your reading and I need to write it down I have a great memory but for these things sometimes it's hit or miss the strength in knowing that whatever you need to know will come to you is extremely fulfilling to someone who likes to plan things out. We're entering a new phase, we're entering an air phase. It's not that you can't take what you've learned and apply it here, but there's going to be a need for open to be more open-minded. Not that you can't have your boundaries or have things the way you want them. It's being more open-minded. It's being it's also this justice card is compromise where are you compromising yourself or where do you need compromise in your life if you're compromising yourself it shows up in your money it shows up in your emotions maybe you um start to feel down but for others of you if you're getting what you need you may have a release you may realize that luck also comes with realization and isn't that lucky it makes you realize how strong and how much energy you do have to do what you need is and what has been maybe uh, overly distracting you and has become real is you overcoming the fact that that's still not going to stop you. That is still not going to stop you. Mars is entering Leo. It's just not going to stop you. Nothing can at this point. But the ease that you feel in the way that you're communicating with life and the way that life is also backing you up and how... Um, the moment you step back, the moment you give space, everything and anything that you need to talk about and learn comes right to your door. And I don't know, that feels lucky to me. Of course, don't let your guard down completely, but share or be as open as you can uh, with where you are now. And it shows a lot about your trust and your trust for life and your trust for this process and your trust for relationships right now. Because if you are in a relationship, the feminine wounds may be coming up, a lot of um, caring and tending to, a lot of communication is needing to be tended to, especially in terms of how that relates to worth and money and energy and compromise and compatibility and also how it's opening a new door for you both individually, but both of you if you're willing and ready to take um, your experience in another direction or to the next level or just deepening trust or sharing more openly about your fears and your worries and not being afraid of um, your worst fear coming to life because you've learned to transform that and you're learning to transform that emotionally now because you can trust your body you're worthy of trusting your body and you do, but I'm just reminding you. Okay, Capricorn, you already know. I had so many notes, we didn't even talk about them. Well, Venus is also entering your sign, so it's gonna feel really good. But it's also gonna bring you to your awareness. We're gonna get more into these questions. I liked the intuition, it was really great. This month is spot on to me, even if no one else thinks so. Uh, we're gonna get more into these questions in the next part. Um, 
I think it's because it didn't really come up. The Venus, the Venusian did come up, but it's just revealing like both sides of things. Like where do you need to address things? What's been held back? We talked about that. Um, we're gonna talk about love. We're gonna talk about money. We're gonna talk about what the, ch yeah, we talked about the change of state. So we basically talked about this, um, but this is also gonna open up um, more room for ideas that you didn't even know we're possible right now maybe in the future but right now a lot more is possible than you realize so this is what ultimately the energy is bringing you to this change you will feel the shift by the end of the month for sure so just if anything be aware of that and i'm excited to get into this next part of this reading i didn't tell you before but all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. I'm doing a sale this weekend um, for 25% off on my services. I did put that up, out as a post. This will be out um, the day after the, f the new moon in Scorpio. I hope it was very re rejuvenating, revitalizing for you. And hmm, I'll see you next month.